Okay, another little change of plans here. Um, yeah, this is the uh, 57 Gravely, the one we worked on to get running and everything. And just for temporarily, I put this, um, the uh, sediment bowl that I'm saving for the 1961 Postal Gravely. Because I want to put that back to original. I want to put the uh, sediment bowl back on. And I also want to put the metal steel line system back on that. I'm trying to put it back to as original as possible. Now, uh, you saw in one video where I bought these fuel tops here, the shutoffs for the fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the sediment bowl here. I'm going to put this on and then we just hook the rubber line back up. These are the uh, filters here, the screens here that I always say I can't stand. I usually pull these off and just put an inline uh, filter on. Um, we're not going to do that with this. I'm not going to put the inline fuel filter on it. We're just going to leave, we'll leave this uh, screen on here. So it has some kind of filtration system on it. So um, let me get going here and we'll take this bowl off. and. I think I'm going to have to take the fitting off in there too, also, and to screw this in. Um, you can use Teflon tape if you'd like on here to guarantee a good seal, but I never had, they never leak, uh, with me anyway, I've never had one leak. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do that for now, and then we'll get to the uh, 61 Postal Gravely, where I'm going to uh, try to put the original system back on that. When, when we were working on the 57 here, I uh, did clean this sediment bowl out without taking it apart because I don't have any gaskets and stuff for this so so I think I'm gonna have to take this uh, fitting here out as a matter of fact I know I do and that's gonna be a 716 socket I think the sediment bowl is 15 uh, no 5 8 I think it was I'm not really sure because I had to use a metric socket on it and this is a 716 socket Oh, uh, and hope we get this out without a problem. So far, it's okay. I drained the gas tank out, but not probably good enough, I guess. So we'll probably need this to uh, go on to the... Um, the 61 postal, we'll probably need this to stick in the tank so we can put the sediment bowl back on. So I just screw it back on here for now so we know here. Okay, this way we don't lose anything. Okay, so we're just going to stick this up in the tank here. Well, wow, that's pretty dirt. Let me get something to wipe the bottom off here. We don't want to introduce any dirt into the fuel line. If we can help it. I am pretty anxious to get going on that second project too. But I figured, let me get this done and over with too.
we go around one more time, maybe. should be great right there. I stuck a clamp on the hose here for the fuel line. So we just stick this back on here. Linesman pliers work the best for this. I don't have any of that. Or you can use channel locks to work pretty good. Because I can't really get on here that good, but. Okay, that's pretty good there. I always try to uh, flip the clamp up a little bit so you don't catch your fingers on it when you're opening and closing this. Okay, so that, that means the whole fuel system on this tractor is done. And like I said, we still have to do the uh, positive battery cable and the battery hold down. We still gotta do that, but we're not gonna bother with that yet. All right, so I'm going to shut you off for a minute, and then I'll get set up over by the uh, 61 Postal tractor, and we'll get going on that. Okay, so my plan is, the biggest reason why I'm doing this is because I want to use this whole fuel line assembly. We'll be using it on the second Gravely project. That's like the biggest reason why I'm doing this. So what I'm gonna do is we'll take this off from the tank. And what this has on it, it has an elbow. It has an elbow that comes down from the tank and comes this way. And then you just put your hose on here. And then this has the inline filter. And somebody had cut off the uh, metal fuel line. They just cut it. And they just stuck this end on here. So I'm just going to use this whole thing on here. The biggest problem is um, I'm going to I'm going to take the carburetor off and work on it that way because it's pretty tight in there. Um, yeah, that would be the best way to do it, I would say. So I'll just begin by pulling this hose off here. I don't even know if you can see me up there, but you really can't. But the important, the important part's going to be down here, anyway. Oh boy! Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to try to. Uh, unscrew the whole assembly that goes into the tank here and we'll be using a 7 16ths again this shouldn't be too bad so we just use this whole setup here for the other tractor and I'll just stick this back on here for now so we have everything together here I probably asked already, but you gravely guys, I'm pretty sure this is period correct, the sediment ball. I think it's pretty identical to my father's 56. And I remember there were some bigger ones, but I think they were for later models. So let me know in the comments on that. And also, um, this has a petcock. Did you check the oil on it? On the 61 Postal here. 
But this ha seems to have a plug in there. You got to take the plug out to make sure that the uh, oil's full. Let me know if that's period correct because I do have uh, like original petcocks I could put in this. But I just want to make this back to original, you know, as original as pos possible here. So, all right. So let me take the... Um, air cleaner hose off at the carburetor here take that off first then I'll take the quarter inch socket here this is the uh, throttle rod you guys probably are familiar with that already get that out of the way And then I have uh, two bolts to hold the carburetor on. Half inch socket you'll be using for that, for 5 16 bolts. Let me make sure you're still in view here. I might have to do most of this on the bench, so we'll have to go to set up on the bench to do the rest here. I managed to do a lot of cleanup around here. Everything that you saw on the side of the uh, storage was just a bunch of junk rotted out ducks that I was going to take the wheels and strip them down. I didn't bother doing any of that. I threw everything out front and somebody picked everything up in less than a, less than 24 hours everything got picked up. The only thing I keep on the side there now is the Gravely trailer, the 57 tractor that we worked on. And I have a big cover over everything there. I don't know what the steel fuel line came off of. It seems to be a little bent. Uh, okay, so the gasket. All right, I'll just take the gasket off and hope the wind don't blow it away. Here. All right, so we're just gonna undo this uh, line here that somebody cut, and I just tried to screw the other one on there. I'll get it in place, and then we'll put the sediment bowl on and see if I can bend it to where. I'm pretty sure that I have this is set up right. I did, uh, I sprayed some brake clean through here, and WD also, and I blew out the line here. So, it looks like the line does go on this way. I already bent this part over this way a little bit, because it was over this way, and... You know, it's supposed to have this loop in it. Um, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we gotta get the 716th wrench again. The heck did I do with that already? That's funny. How could that be? I just had it. I was just using it. Oh, come on. Where the heck is that? It disappeared that quick. I lay it down on the ground. Yeah. Gotta love this. Huh. 
Oh, come on. I'll be right back. I didn't go far. Yeah, I found it. It was under the carburetor. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so I'm just going to try to undo this here without hopefully a problem here. What size wrench is this tape? 7 16ths, right? Or is it half inch? I'm sorry about this, guys. Let me get a half inch wrench. I always say guys, I mean guys and girls too. I know some girls watch this. Oh boy, is that tight. <clears throat> Let me do it on the table real quick. I got it. That was pretty tight. Let me make sure everything is the way I wanted to put it. Yep. I'm just taking off that piece of line that we're going to end up using on the uh, second build. The second build is a 57 also. So I'm just going to call that tractor the second build. This is probably boring as hell, but it's got to get done. I figure I'd make a video on it. Okay, so that's off. Now I'll try to screw this one on here. That's the wind blowing the door open. The shed. I wonder if I could tighten this up while it's on here. I'm pretty sure I can. So we're not going to tighten that up all the way. Um, I'm bringing it around and we'll put the glass bowl on there. See what's going on. See if we can... Uh, situate this see these have the extra tags on them yeah it's a United States Post Office issued gravely tractor here I always wanted one I would like to collect them all Army Navy whatever but I was fortunate to find this one here. Let me get you as close as I can. I think that's pretty good. Let me take this strap off because I know the wind's just going to keep blowing it over on uh, in front of the camera. All right, so I put the fit, fitting on the, the bowl here. So we'll take that off, and then we'll get this up in there now. And now I'll, I'll bolt the carburetor back on. Gotta love my eyesight. Horrible.
Look how white my hands are already from getting gas on. Plus it's a little cold out today. Well, it's starting pretty hard, but I think it's all right. Last thing you want to do is strip out the tank here. We got one more problem here. Um, yeah, this this other end here. All right, I'll be back to you. I got to figure something out for that now. Um, yeah. Oh, I think if you unscrew this then the line will just screw right in. But what we're gonna do is, I wanna make sure of that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, no, maybe not. Maybe not. No, we would need another we need another end to go on there. Because what it is is a female going on to a male. And this hole here, after I took that fitting out, is a female. We want the line to screw on to a male. So, I have to figure that out. I'll be right back. I'm sure I have something laying around here that'll work. I noticed the camera's sagging here, but I think you're in view pretty good now. Anyway, I went to my Gravely Parts Department, and I have uh, quite a few bowls, and I was able to find the right fitting here for this uh, to accept the. Uh, it'll go into the. <coughs> it'll go into. Uh, the sediment bowl and on this side here it will accept the um, steel line. I already tightened up the bowl here. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so, I guess we're about ready to put the carburetor back on. Hopefully I can tighten that fitting up that goes to the carburetor once it's on the tractor. We'll see. Alright, let me bring you around again. I don't know if I was talking to myself. No, I think it's on. I did that on the one video when I was doing the the points. And um yeah, I was talking to myself. Thought I turned the camera on, but I didn't. I think you're in pretty good view there. Let's see if I can do this without shutting the camera off. Sorry about that again. Uh, let's see if you're in line. Yeah, pretty much in line. Alright, so let me stick the carburetor back on here.
Yeah, it, it's caught on the tripod. I think I could put this back on after. It looked like it before the rod here. So, let's get the gasket on here. The rod's not going to stay anywhere we want it to, that's for sure. Oh yeah, it will right there. I'm just going to start these bolts and make sure I, that I can tighten that line up once I get the carburetor on. The gas get moved. I think I might be able to get the wrench in there and tighten that up. Now the problem is back here. It's going to be. Um, I don't know if this line's too short or just gotta do a little banding here. Well I might have to move this bowl. I'm going to try to make another twist on the ball. Because I'm going to have to catch the ball differently here. And I'll show you once I'm done what I have to do here. What I'm going to do right now is, okay, so we got this back on here somewhat. I think I'll tighten up the um, carburetor first. And then I can man maneuver the line a, a little bit here. It's not going to cut. I don't think I'm going to be able to line up the bowl perfectly, but I'll try. I just give it a little snug. I'm not going to tighten it all the way yet. That's good enough for now. And then I'm going to shut you off now and then I'll play around with this because I think it's going to take a little while for me to get this thing to where I want it to be.
yeah, I'll be back to you in a few. Okay, so I did have to unbolt the carburetor again and swing it out to tighten up the line. But the line is clear from the shroud and everything, and everything there looks good. This I had to put back on on a little bit of an angle to catch this. I, I don't want to bend anything um, here. I, didn't, I just figured it would be okay like this. Now, some of these uh, Zenith carburetors on these Gravelys, <clears throat> um, some of them had the carburetor throat on the opposite side and I do believe that the uh, the fuel line went back here instead of up there so because I'm thinking that this line is actually too short but I made it work and I just wanted to you know get the sediment bowl and everything back on and everything seems to be okay with that I did put some gas in it I turned the gas on I'm not seeing any leaks. Everything looks good here. Um, I guess we'll give it a start. See how it starts. Be right back. Okay, I'll get it started. It's the first start of the spring. So, we'll see how it starts. And then, I'm just going to be looking around to see if there's any leaks. If there's any leaks, I'll let you know. Yeah, I know I turned the gas on. It's on. But that's cool. I'll right, give it some throttle here. I'll give it some chug. I'll probably kick the uh, tripod trying to start it. I'll try not to. Maybe I'll just move you over just a little bit here. I'm good for kicking the tripod, knocking it over, <laughs> whatever. Make sure I cleaned everything out too. Like I said before, the fuel line and everything. I'll joke it. See what happens. We have a fuel issue now. We have a fuel flow problem here. It was good in the beginning. I don't know what could have happened here. That's why me, I'm not crazy about these metal fuel line system here.
I'm gonna have to take the uh, giant ball. I have to take the drain under, out from under the bowl there and see if it's uh, flowing fuel good. Can't be vapor locked already. I don't know. Uh, Alright, let me see what's going on here. See you in a bit. I opened up the fuel shed off more. Maybe that could have been it. I'm not sure. Try it one more time here, and then I'll do what I said. I'll take, I'll take the uh, bottom drain bolt, carburetor drain. I'll take that out, make sure everything's flowing good. It's not going to go. Let me get a 716 here. There's definitely no kink in the line. It started in the ramp, too. This is funny. Here. So I'm sure this hose will be in a way here to do this. Start I'm going to shut you off and I'll be back to you. About two drops of gas came out. I'll blow through the gas tank and say, see, I, these are the problems that I don't want to have with this. I tried to do the tractor a favor and this is what you got. find a problem will be a pain in the ass because you you gotta pull a carburetor to take the fuel line off. So you get up there and push on the uh on the flow. Slopes down. Try to knock the needle loose in case it's uh, 
There it goes. There it's flowing now. Maybe there's a piece of uh, dirt they've gotten caught in there. Possibly. I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw a couple of shots of, uh, of uh, sea foam in the tank. And then I'll be back to you and we'll see if we can start this thing up. I'll put that plug back in. If I didn't lose it already. So, I'll be back to you in two seconds. You guys got to be bored to death with this video. I know I am. shot to see for it, man. The littlest speck of dirt will jam up your uh, seat, your needle. I'm just going to let this run for a while and make sure it's okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. There's nothing more uh, in this video. So, I'll see everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.